Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'll be showing you how to make knife plate skirts today. Your fabric should be approximately three times of your waist circumference. So go ahead and grab your favorite fabric, your measuring tape, thread, chalk, some pins, a zip, and your hem gum. All right, let's begin. So basically, this is just a really long rectangle, and the measurement you need is just your waist circumference multiplied by three plus one for your zip allowance which is half an inch on both sides so my waist circumference is 28.5 so i'm going to multiply that by three plus one and i have it's a 6.5 and the length of my skirt is 18.5 inches so now we're going to get our pleats lines i'm using pleats that are one inch wide first off you want to get your half an inch for your zip allowance then from that half an inch you take one inch and from that one inch line two inches so basically from the very first line to the last line you should have three inches in total so that is all you have to do one inch then two inches one inch then two inches and mind you you should be doing this on the right side of your fabric so just go ahead and do that till you're done <laughs> Okay, grab some pins and let's get started we're going to start from the second line not the first line for your zip allowance the second line so basically that line is going to touch the next line to so just overlap that like so and pin it in place and then the next line to the next line so basically that's all you have to do just keep matching the first line to the second line and do that yeah for everything okay so my waist measurement is 28.5 inches plus one inch for zip allowance which is 29.5 inches by the time you're done pleating you should have your exact waist measurements down in my case is 29.5 inches which i have here okay so now we need our waistband i have my exact waist measurement here which is 28.5 inches and it's five inches wide it's five inches wide because i want my waistband to be two inches wide so when you fold that into two i have my two inch wide waistband plus half an inch for sewing allowance so which is going to be a total of two and a half inches it's up to you whichever you prefer but i want mine to be two inches wide i'm just going to go ahead and secure my pleats so when it's time to fix my waistband everything is where it's supposed to be this is what it'll look like afterwards you want to go ahead and mark half an inch on one side and one inch on the other side so do that on your waistband from one end to the other end fold in the one inch part like so and after that just iron it down Placing right sides together using the half an inch marking of your waistband, attach that to your skirt and just sew from one end to the other end. I'm just going ahead to trim the ends. This is not compulsory, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Next up, we're going to fold this like so and just stitch very close to the edge of the fabric i'm just going ahead to mark half an inch for my zip allowance and i'm doing this on the right side of the fabric because i'm using an invincible zipper I didn't do this for the entire length of the skirt, I stopped at 8 inches from the waist down. I'm just going to go ahead and 
and close up the rest of the skirt using half an inch. I will be using my needle and thread to hand stitch this down like so. You can go ahead and use your sewing machine but I just prefer using this. I went ahead and used hem glue for the bottom of my skirt and it's looking super neat. Your skirt should look like this when you're done. For more easy tutorials, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.